Okay, boys and girls, so we learned about the Lasco Caves today, and we also went on a field trip, so now it's time to create some um, cave paintings or cave drawings. So, you can do this with a white piece of paper, um, you can do this with a piece of cardboard, or you can do this with a piece of brown construction paper, or a piece of paper bag. I'm using a piece of paper bag for mine, and the first thing I want to do is I want to create texture. Texture is when something looks like it feels a certain way. So rocks are very rough. So I'm going to take my paper, crumble it up, because I want that rough, crinkly texture of rock. So now I got all those wrinkles, all that rough texture in my paper. Now is the time that I would look at the um, cave symbols in the PowerPoint and I would choose the cave symbols that I want to put in my cave paintings. As always, you can do this with pencil, you can do this with paint, you can do this with markers, you can do this with whatever you have available as long as it is neat and well drawn. I'm going to use marker as always because you can see it on the camera better. So I've already chosen my signs from the PowerPoint and I'm just drawing them right on. Now you can think about what you want your um, early tribal people or your early cave people, you can make a scene for them and draw that scene with these symbols. In my case, I think I'm going to make my er early settlers kind of look like they're hunting for food while well, wildlife kind of flies all over the place. So I have my bird symbol right here. Let's put our hunter over here. And our hunter, he it looks like he's about to almost pull back a bow, a bow and arrow, so he can hunt for his food and provide for his family. We learned a lot about how people lived back then through these cave paintings. They showed us how they lived, and they showed us how intelligent they were at the time. So I want my scene to show how they lived back then. But your scene can look however you want it to look. So I have my warrior about to pull back what it looks like as a bow. Maybe he's holding a shield. And I'm going to go ahead and draw an animal symbol over here. You want to take your time when you draw these. You want it to be as neat as possible. If you're working with pencil, that's absolutely fine, as long as you can draw neat. So right now I have a warrior. I have, it looks like this animal who he's about to hunt to provide for his uh, family or his village. And we have this um, bird flying over the scene. You can definitely add more. You can even add some random symbols in there just for decoration. 
because Lord knows that's that is what they used to do around that time. And on the PowerPoint, there are other symbols like footprints. There are footprints of animals on there. Um, there's a lot of symbols to choose from. So choose wisely. When you are done, you can absolutely positively add color to this. If you do not have anything to color with, that is not necessary. I just want you to draw neat. Okay, remember to send a picture to my class dojo my email or send your work to me on Schoology and um, hopefully we learned a little bit more about history and culture today. See you next week guys.